So, let's talk about Claude Code for a second. It's quickly becoming a favorite among AI enthusiasts and developers who enjoy daily coding with artificial intelligence. The value it provides is honestly impressive. But here's the thing. For many people, the idea of using a terminal to interact with it is, well, intimidating. It's not exactly beginner friendly, and that can turn people off. But good news today, we're diving into a tool that completely transforms that experience. It's called Claudia, and what it does is give Claude Code a full graphical interface. That's right, no more terminal stress. And the best part? It's fully open source and packed with powerful features. Claudia does so much more than just replace your command line. It basically turns Claude Code into something similar to tools like Jules or Codex L. Imagine spinning up multiple AI agents that can each sandbox and execute your code independently. Yeah, it's that powerful. With Claudia, you can easily move through your Claude Code projects, view and resume older sessions complete with full context and access all of the functionality you're used to, but with a way more intuitive setup. Plus, it introduces something really cool, the ability to craft your own agents with built-in, pre-written system prompts. Whether you want a test agent, a coder, or something more niche, you can just create it. Now, here's where it gets even more interesting. Claudia lets you run your custom agents in secure, sandboxed environments, with precise control over their permissions. You're not just launching code blindly, you can trace every step an agent takes. The tool provides incredibly detailed logs, performance tracking, and even live monitoring of your Claude API usage. You get real-time insights into how your API calls are being distributed across models, projects, and specific timeframes. And it doesn't stop there. You also get beautiful data visualizations to help you spot usage trends and optimize your workflow even further. Let me actually walk you through how to use Claudia. Along the way, I'll point out exactly what makes it so much better than just using Claude code via terminal commands. So, first things first, it's a cross-platform desktop app built using Tauri 2. That means it runs smoothly on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Pretty cool, right? But there's a catch. You do need to build it from source. That means you'll need to install a few tools first specifically, Bun and Rust. Once those are installed, you'll need to clone the repository, install the dependencies, and compile the project. After that, you're good to go. When you launch the app, the very first thing you'll notice is how polished and user-friendly the interface is. No more fiddling with cryptic command line arguments or editing obscure config files. When you open Claudia, it automatically scans your system to locate your Claude directory. That means if you've already been using Claude code with agents and projects, everything just pops up here ready to go. Right on the dashboard, you'll see two main sections, CC agents and CC projects. The agents tab is where you'll create and manage all your custom agents. And the projects tab is where you can dive into any of your Claude coding projects, whether that's starting a brand new session or resuming an old one with full context. Up at the top, you've also got some extra tools worth checking out. The usage dashboard is especially helpful. It lets you see an overview of your total API usage, all your sessions and cost stats. You can even filter the data based on top used projects. It's like having a control panel for your entire Claude workflow. You also get a smart search bar, which is a game changer if you're like me and have dozens or even hundreds of coding sessions. You can quickly locate what you need without digging through folders manually. It even keeps a session history log, so you can revisit or analyze previous work anytime. You can now view all your previous coding sessions in a clean, organized way complete with timestamps, message history, and detailed metadata at a glance. But here's where things really start getting wild. Claudia's CC Agents feature. With this, you can actually spin up your own custom AI agents. Just head to the Agents tab, click Create Agent, and start customizing. You can give it a unique name, set an icon, and most importantly, define the system prompt. So if you've ever wanted an agent that's a pro at refactoring TypeScript, or maybe one that's built to crank out unit tests in Go, Claudia's got you covered. You're not limited to just one use case either. You can build an entire toolkit of agents tailored to different workflows. 
Each agent runs within its own sandboxed environment, and the security setup is seriously robust. On Linux, it uses Secom for fine-grained control, and on macOS, it leverages Seatbelt. What's more, you can create reusable permission profiles, and Claudia will actively monitor and flag any violations as they happen. That level of transparency and control is incredible, especially if you're managing your own model context protocol servers. If you're running MCP servers, Claudia makes that process super manageable too. It includes a built-in MCP server manager where you can add your servers using a graphical interface. You can even import your configuration directly from Claw Desktop and test your connections right from the UI before diving in. This is a total game changer for people who find editing JSON files intimidating or prefer avoiding the command line. It's got the polish and features you'd expect from enterprise software, but it's fully local and completely open source. One of my favorite features is the timeline and checkpoint system. Think of it like a time machine for your code. At any point during your session, you can set a checkpoint. Then, using a visual timeline, you can jump back to any state or even fork off into a new session with a single click. It's perfect for experimenting without fear. And yes, there's a built-in diff viewer so you can compare changes between checkpoints side by side. It's essentially version control baked directly into your AI-driven workflow, and it's as slick as it sounds. Another feature that makes Claudia stand out is its built-in markdown editor specifically for Claude MD files. You get a real-time preview, full markdown syntax support, and automatic scanning of your project to surface all relevant Claude MD files. This is super useful if you're someone who likes keeping clean documentation or wants to manage prompt files and agent configurations with ease. And yes, syntax highlighting is included too, so you're not just staring at walls of plain text all day. Let's jump into the workflow. Now, I won't be creating a new agent in this walkthrough, but if you're doing simple Claude code sessions, just head over to the projects tab. From there, you can start new Claude code sessions, select your desired project folder, and choose between Claude Force, Sonnet, or Opus models. If you're using Claude Max or Claude Pro, those are supported too, just make sure they're configured in your command line interface because Claudia wraps around that backend to give you a graphical interface. It turns your usual terminal workflow into something visual and intuitive. Once you're in, you can ask the assistant to perform tasks just like you would in Claude code, but now it all happens in a slick graphical environment. Everything's presented in a clear, user-friendly interface. And yes, you can still tweak tons of settings if you like. What's especially cool is how it supports autonomous runs. So you can step away or focus on something else while the agent handles tasks in the background. It's all very smooth and efficient. If you decide to create your own agents, the real magic begins. These agents aren't just smarter, they're purpose-built to run autonomously. For instance, you could build a vulnerability tester that scans your entire code base, or maybe a code quality auditor that flags issues before you even notice them. You can even set up a bug fixer agent that just fixes stuff on its own. It's crazy powerful. And while I won't dive into every single settings option here, know that there are a ton of them and once you get comfortable, you'll probably end up customizing everything to suit your workflow. Just a quick heads up though, Claudia operates under the AGPL license. That means if you're thinking about bundling it into a commercial product, you'll want to make sure you're okay with the terms. Also, while it's impressively polished already, keep in mind that it's still early in its development. You might run into a few rough edges like bugs or some missing features. For example, there's no official pre-built executable at the time of this video but that's expected to arrive soon. And while the analytics dashboard is slick, features like usage alerts are still on the roadmap. But even with those caveats, Claudia is a powerhouse. Or if you're juggling multiple projects and AI agents and want to manage everything without living inside the terminal, then you seriously need to give this a try. It's open source, it's secure, and it genuinely improves how you work with Claude code. I've been using it personally, and I'm honestly blown away. It's one of those tools that just makes everything feel easier and more productive. All right, that's it from me. I'd love to know what you think, so drop a comment down below. And if you found this helpful, consider subscribing to the channel.
or even become a channel member to unlock some cool perks. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.